Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to all you I came out there, pushing his word with all truth and sincerity, and to all you believers out there as well who believe in the gospel. And it's the brother Kwara Abad from the gym at Houston camp. Now, I want to go into another lesson, man. Um, you know, Lord willing to be yet or fine. But what I want to speak on in this lesson is that um, we know coming into the into the truth is um, an abundance, you know, of uh, of uh, uh, knowledge, you know, understanding, you know, that uh, we can receive, man. You know, uh, mysteries, you see, uh, different things being revealed to you, you know, maybe... Uh, you might understand the Hebrew more, but all in all, to make it, you know, short, our spiritual growth, because all those things go within that spiritual growth, man. Once we come into this truth, what well, we start with, the basics, the milk, and from now, we are expected to grow, you know, but what I want to touch on this lesson real briefly is that we can't force our, our own growth, you know what I mean? We can't force... <laughs> For, I'm gonna use myself for example. You know, I've been wanting to get better on the Hebrew. You know, I'm speak sentences. You see, you know, that was that was what I wanted to do. But it's the thing; it wasn't up to me. Because as much as you know, I planned on I'm gonna study this today, study that, I'm gonna do this, do that. Look, the Lord had other plans. Now, granted, I do know some words. You know, I could put you know some words together, so on and so forth. But um, not to the point that I, I um assumed I was going to get at, you feel me? And I'm just using myself as an example. You know, just to show we can't force our own spiritual growth. The Lord just ain't want me to be super cold in the Hebrew. You know, and that's just one example, you know? But it's all up to the Lord at the end of the day, man. You know, it ain't of us. Hey, even if, even if, say, even if you do study a lot, you know, you do watch a lot of videos, you know, you may be reading, but the Lord may not open up that understanding just yet. You know, he might not give the breakdown just yet. Again, it's all up to him, man. So I just want to hop into, um, you know, a scripture too. I, I wanted to start with that first Corinthians 3, but let me get this Romans 12 first. Romans 12 real quick, and uh, and I get that first Corinthians 3, and then we can go ahead and get up out of here. But this is Romans 12, and I'm going to start at 3. It says, for I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. And it's not the point of the scripture, but this an important part of the scripture. Not to think of ourselves more highly than we ought to think. You know, yeah, we come in, we gain some knowledge, you know, and we might think, you know, we're on a certain type of level, you see. But then a brother above us might ask us a question and I'm going to speak for myself <laughs> again. And I don't mean to use myself for um, examples, you know, but it is what it is, you see, but that happened to me. You know, you might think you know a little bit of something than the older brother. He'll come ask you a question. A question could be a simple question and get it wrong <laughs> and get it wrong, you see. But the point is, don't think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, because again, it's not us that we didn't work just that hard to receive this wisdom, you know. No, it was given by the Lord. Now, although, yeah, we put in the work to grow, we put in the work to learn, but it's not up to us whether we receive it or not. And that's what that first Corinthians three was hitting on. And we're going to get that. But let me finish this. It says for I'm a, uh, this Romans 12 and three, it says, for I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. Right. Hey, let me get a quick precept. Through the spirit, because who the Lord said he gave um, his secrets unto? Let's get that real quick. This is Rock 3 and 17. It says, my son, go on with thy business in meekness. So shall thou be, so shall thou be beloved of him that is approved. It says, the greater thou art, the more humble thyself. And thou shalt find favor before the Lord. Check this out. It says, many are in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. Whew. It says, for the power of Yahweh is great and he is honored of the lowly, man. 
You see, that's who the Lord going to give his, his mysteries to, his understanding to, not to the ones who just think they know everything, you know? Because look, we could all be taught some extra, all be corrected on some, all, um, and look, this is the thing, we might have gotten an understanding, we might could break down certain things, but you might have another brother who can expound on it even more, man, you know? And another thing too, let me go back to that Romans 12. Because another thing, too, what it's about to go into, how the Lord gave each and every one of us our own portion of understanding, our own portion of faith. You know, we can't just say, damn, that brother know precepts and history. I'm about to try to be like that, brother. No, the Lord gave you your own portion. Take what you got and shit, work with that. <laughs> you know, go all, go all, go hard with that, man. You know, because look, another brother might be looking at you like, man, that brother got a, a Fire spirit on him, but you might not be thinking, I want to be, I want another brother talent. No, man, take your talent and run with it. But let's get it. Romans 12 and 3, it says, For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, that's the point, according as the Most High have dealt to every man. The measure of faith, each and every one of us have our own portion and we can't force extra, extra um, uh, understanding upon ourselves. We can't make ourselves more wiser because we want to know more. You know, we can't make ourselves more eloquent in speech. The Lord said he control the mouth. You know, now again, yeah, we can put in the work to study, learn, but still, let's get that in first Corinthians, but still it's all up to the Lord and it's going to hit on and prove that we can't force it. You know, we can't force it, man. That's why, well, look, whatever lot we got, whatever understanding we have, run with it. You see? But um, let's get this. This First Corinthians 3. And I'm going to start at... Hmm, let me see. First Corinthians 3. And I'm going to start at 2. It says, I have fed you. And this is Apostle Paul speaking. He said, I have fed you with milk, the basics, right? And not with meat. And meat is the more deeper understanding. It says, um, for hitherto you were not able to bear it, neither yet now are you able. It said, and that's that's again, because even in this truth, we may think, oh, you know, you know, we can get deep understanding, but there's some things that we can't bear. I know it's something. That I hear the older brothers talking about, you know, in our account, and I don't, I don't, you know, ask into, ask about it or, or you know, you know, try to jump in because some things it ain't for me to understand at the time. Even with the apostles speak, you know, they might bring some up, but it ain't for certain people to understand at certain times, man. You know, just like you going what what that is Revelation ten, what was uh, what was told to John, the uh, Revelator as they call him, and um. Whatever he heard, the angel who was in the chariot said, look, nah, don't write that. Conceal that. You see? So only John knew what, what was told, what was heard. Same thing with Edris. Edris wrote, um, I believe, 70 some books. He said uh, in a certain portion of them, the Lord told him, give those to the unwise and the wise, but the other ones only give to the wise. Because it ain't profitable for everybody, man. You know? But um, let's continue. It says, for ye are yet carnal. For whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? For while one saith, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollo, are ye not carnal? Carnal? So you had some in the church of Corinth saying, shit, Paul taught me. <laughs> Paul taught me. You know, shit, Apollo taught me. Well, shit, Peter taught me. He the head of the church. <laughs> you see? But this is the thing. It says, who then is Paul? And who is Apollo? But ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord gave to every man. It's the point. I have planted, Apollo watered, but the Most High gave the increase. So Apostle Paul said, look, I planted. I planted that seed. I told you y'all was Israelites. You know, I, I you know, told you, you know, the law, statute, whatever. I told you the basics. But he said, Apollo he watered. He kept teaching you. He kept expounding unto you in the scriptures, you know? But at the end of the day, he says, although he planted and Apollo kept building y'all up, it says, 
What? It says, uh, I have planted in Apollo water, but the Most High gave the increase, man. The Most High gave the increase. So again, we can't force our own understanding. We can't force, you know, our own growth, man. It's up to the Most High who give that increase. You see? But, um... But uh, let's continue. It says, so, so then neither is he that planted anything, neither he that watereth, but the most high that giveth the increase, man. Even going into teaching, you know, going into those, uh, which how was I say he delivered unto his servants his good. He chose who he gave 10 talents to. He chose who he gave five talents to. He chose who he gave one talent to. It wasn't up to them. The one who had the one talent couldn't say, Lord, give me three more. <laughs> The one who had 10 talents could say, Lord, I don't, I don't know. Because the scriptures say, whom much is given, much is required. I don't know if I could take all this. Give me, drop my talents and give me four. No, it ain't up to you. The Lord set a certain spirit on each and every one of us, man. You know, you see. Hey, and another thing, too, we can't say, if a, you know, brother might not know something, you know. You can't say, oh, he must not be studying. And, you know, I'm, I'm guilty of this. Oh, that brother might not be studying. Oh, what that brother doing? He should know that. Well, look, the Lord probably ain't get that brother to increase. It's not up to us. You see, or vice versa. Oh, that brother know that. That's what's up. I wish I did. No, the Lord just ain't probably ain't give us the increase at the moment. You see? But the point I'm getting at is we can't force our own spiritual growth. Even if we look at the brothers, that brother ain't grow like that on his own. The Lord gave that, that, that understanding to that brother. And just as the Lord gave it to each and every one of us, he can take it away. Going to that, that parable with the goods, the one who had the talent, he got it taken away. And it was given to another brother, added on to his work. You see, but it says, now he that planteth and he that watereth are one. And that's the thing. Although we have different lots, different abilities, different skills, different understanding, we still one body. You know, we still one body. Because whatever part that brother got, you might not have it. We'll put y'all together. Shit. <laughs> you feel me? Now y'all, shit. Two are better than one. You know? A brother might know history. A brother might be cold on prophecy. Put them together. Now, both of y'all, y'all could teach somebody what happened then and what's about to come. But again, that's a body. You look at your body. Shit, even look at your hand. I'm looking at my hand right now. My thumb bigger than my pinky. You see? Your, your fingers ain't even the same size. Right? I'm right-handed. I'd rather use my left hand like that. But guess what? It's all for the same body. Different portions. You see? But um, it says, Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor, man. And I ended off with this um, in uh, Romans. It's Romans 14. And I'm going to start at... I'm going to start at 1. It says, Him that is weak in the faith receive you, but not to doubtful disputations. For one believeth that he may eat all things. Now, who is this that... Believe he can eat all things. It's a brother who can go into the meat. You see, he can go into the deep breakdowns and the mysteries. So on and so forth, right? It says, and another who is weak eat of herbs. But you got a brother who just know the basics. Just, just on the milk, right? And it says, but let not him that eat of, let not him that eat of despise him that eat of not. The brother who got more understanding, he can't look down on the brother like, man, what's wrong with that brother? Why he don't know this? <laughs> you see? Like I was talking to the brother Kaya today, man, uh, the brother of New Orleans. And this is what I was talking. This is, what, this is where this lesson stemmed from. You see? You know? So the man that, under, you know, understand more, he can't be like, man, what's wrong with you, Ock? Why you don't know this? And then, you know, like I said... Because look, when we do these lessons, we speak to ourselves first and foremost. And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. You see? Because I've been guilty of it before. Right? But it says, um, let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not. And let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth. Right? So the brother who just know the basics, he can't look at the other brother who might know the deep breakdown and say, oh, that, that brother thing, he, he, he all that. 
<laughs> you see that brother think he know everything. No, you you see? The one who may know a lot can't look down on a brother who don't. The one who don't know a lot, he can't look down on a brother who do. Why? Because the Lord said what? It says, and, and let not him which eat of judge him that eateth not, for the most high have received him. Who art thou that thou judges another man's servant? Come on, man. It says, who art thou that thou judges another man's servant? To his own master he stand of a fall of. Yeah, he shall be holding up for the most high is able to make him stand. The most high can make that man grow when he wants to. You know? It says, and one man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. The scripture just says, one man esteemeth one day above another. You're going to have brothers who learn quicker than others. You're going to have brothers who pick up, you know, faster than others. And it says, and another esteem of every day alike, and let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Don't matter how much you know, as long as you're fully persuaded. You can have somebody who got all the knowledge, but they ain't fully persuaded. You see? You know all the precepts, but might not think the chip, the mark of the beast, you know? Know all the precepts, but might not be brotherly. You know, might not have uh, charity, but you know everything. But you have another brother who just know the basics, but that brother got charity out of this world. When you call on him, before you even call, he there, but he just know the basics. And that's the balance of the body, though. That's why, hey, what we into right now is beautiful. You see, each brother got his own portion, man. And whatever portion you got, roll with that. Run with it. The Lord can increase you or he can just keep you there. But look. We supposed to uh, um, strive, like it says, uh, measuring up to the stature of the law. We supposed to strive, you know, to grow, strive to go from that glory to gl uh, glory to glory, and then it's up to the Lord if He going increases or not. He just want to see that effort, though, you know. But you know, Lord willing, this lesson was that a fine. That's all. I, uh, all I really want to touch on, you know. I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rachakodash, the honors to the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to all you. I came out there pushing His word with all truth. And sincerity, and to all you believers out there who believe in the gospel, hey, keep fighting, keep pushing, and with that, shalom.